Hello and welcome to Grizzly's how-to video for aligning the tables on your 8-inch parallelogram type joiner. My name is Kent and this is Sean, an engineer here at Grizzly. Make sure you check out the other videos that we're producing to make it easier for our customers to upgrade and maintain their Grizzly equipment. Today we'll show you step-by-step -step how to accurately check the alignment of the tables on your parallelogram type joiner. The machine that we'll use to demonstrate today is a G0490X, but these instructions apply to our 6 and 12 inch parallelogram type joiners as well. This video is designed to give you a visual overview of the process and should be used in conjunction with the owner's manual that came with your joiner. We recommend that you watch this entire video and that you read the manual thoroughly before you begin this job. You can also call our technical support at 570 546-9663 if you need further assistance. Most importantly, remember to follow all shop safety procedures. And remember, there are no more important safety devices than these. For safe operation and optimal cutting results, the tables must be adjusted parallel to each other. Adjusting them is a task in precision and patience and may take up to one hour to complete. Luckily, this is considered a permanent adjustment and should not need to be repeated for many years. As we get started, it's important that you understand how the table adjusts. Each table has eccentric bushings under its four corners, which allow the table to be adjusted parallel. When the bushing is rotated, the support shaft the table is mounted on will raise or lower. This allows all four table corners to be adjusted independently so that they can be perfectly aligned with each other. The first step is to check the table parallelism to see if it even needs to be adjusted. Most likely, it won't. To do this, you will need a 3, 4, and 8 millimeter hex wrench or Allen wrench, a 17 millimeter open end wrench, and a good quality straight edge. In addition, we'll recommend the use of a small block to hold the straight edge in place over the table so you can speed up the process. As always, the first step is to disconnect the jointer from the power source. Next, remove the cutter head guard, fence, and rear stand panel. Loosen the table height lock lever and then loosen the lock nuts on the table height stops and adjust them out of the way. Rotate the pulley so that the knives are out of the way and you can check the table against the cutter head body and not the knives. The reason for this is that the knives are not an accurate reference point. They're only as accurate as when they were installed and can be difficult to measure off of. The cutter head body, on the other hand, is a fixed reference point that does not change. Place the straight edge on the rear of the table with one end over the cutter head and then lower the table until the straight edge just touches the cutter head body. Then lock the table height lever. Move the straight edge to the front of the table. It should just barely touch the cutter head and sit flat on the table. If it does, then the outfeed table is already parallel to the cutter head and doesn't need to be adjusted. If it is not, then you will have to adjust it. You will have to determine which ones to adjust based on your inspection with the straight edge. You may also have a choice of raising one bushing or lowering a bushing on another corner. Use your best judgment, but remember, it's better to make small adjustments and recheck than to go back and forth with larger adjustments that take you past where you want to be. Each eccentric bushing is locked with a pair of stacked set screws, one on top of the other. Remove the first set screw and then loosen the second. To rotate the bushing, take a small punch and hammer and gently tap against the notch in the bushing. Rotating the bushing in one direction will raise the corner and the other direction will lower it. Adjust the eccentric bushing or bushings until the straight edge just touches the cutter head body while laying flat across the outfeed table. And remember, make small adjustments and recheck both the front and rear positions as adjusting one can affect the other. Once you're satisfied with your adjustments, tighten the set screws and reinstall the other set screws that were removed earlier. The purpose of the top set screw is to push against the bottom set screw to ensure that it doesn't move over time. Raise the outfeed table up and use the straight edge to set the height level with the knives at top dead center. Tighten the table height lock lever, reset and lock the table height stops, and then move on to checking the infeed table. To check the infeed table, 
raise it even with the outfeed table and set the straight edge halfway across to see if they are parallel with each other. Be sure to do this check at both the front and rear of the tables. If the straight edge sits flat across both tables, then the tables are parallel. If the straight edge does not sit flat across both tables, then adjust the infeed table the same way using the eccentric bushings located on the infeed table. However, don't use the cutter head as your reference point. Align it to the outfeed table. Once you are satisfied with your adjustments, tighten the set screws and reinstall the other set screws in the bushings you adjusted. Reinstall the back stand panel, the fence, and the cutter head guard, and go make some sawdust. <laughs>